I've learned that I'm very stupid. Because I recorded my reaction raw to this trailer. And I couldn't upload it because I used Melancholy as the background and that's copyright claimed. And I'm like, ah! I am a fool of a man. But, I mean, there's only so much you can react to in this trailer. Basically what it boiled down to was, hey, Elma pretty, Lynn look good. And honestly, the graphics don't even look that different compared to the Wii U version. Just because the game was already pushing the Wii U to its limits. For those of you that don't remember when this game originally came out, it was planned to be on two discs. They thought about it, but they were able to compress it enough with that special Nintendo magic that they put it onto just one. But if you got the game, you know it took up like half the internal storage of your Wii U. This game was like 10 gigabytes thick. So like you're losing so much storage, you have to download all the server stuff, all the DLC that I think came with it too, and patches. Like it straight up took up close to half of your storage just for this. And now, I don't even care that my Wii U is bricked anymore. I don't need it. I honestly might just buy another one for modding purposes. Um, just because it's such a good tool for like emulation stuff. Nintendo, don't, don't, don't watch this. But uh, yeah. I just want to give my overall thoughts, and I think I can better explain it now that this is my second runtime. Um, I didn't react to this earlier because I was busy. I, I was just, a, I was away for the day, so I couldn't react to it. It wasn't, I, I just, I was away. The one time I'm away from my setup, I just, I couldn't do it. So I'm like, damn it. Why? Why me? Why now? Why couldn't it have been tomorrow? If it was tomorrow, I would have been fine, but no. So yeah. For those of you that know me, First off, a lot of people messaged me because I was away, and they're like, Hey, Omni, you, there's some more Xenoblade, and I was like, ah, yes. Xenoblade Chronicles X. And for my friends that know how deep I am into Xenoblade, uh, there were two different reactions I got. They were like, hey, Omni, you don't like this one. You gonna play it again? And I'm like, maybe... Okay, to give context, I've streamed this game on this channel. I'm pretty sure the VODs are still up. Hey, you can go digging for it if you want. I don't know if I got rid of them or private them or whatever, but I think they're still public on here. Not nah, that I have any shame against it, but like, to explain how I played this game originally, I beat the game in 60 hours. What that automatically means is that I did none of the side content. I, did, I just rushed the main story, blitzed it as soon as I could, and that is probably the worst possible way to experience this game. Full disclosure, the story for Xenoblade Chronicles X is garbage. It's bad. The ending could be a mix of Kino to absolute trash depending on your taste. Your mileage may vary on that one. But for the overall bulk, the story ain't it. They, they aren't cooking with this one. This was Tatsu's cooking. In which case, he shouldn't have been cooking. He should have been cooked this entire time. Uh, the turnip boy, uh, no. No. And I think it's kind of a shame because so much of the world is explored in the side content very much for Xenoblade X. Now you're probably wondering, Omni, what you like Xenoblade, why didn't you go through the main content, or why didn't you go through the side content, rather, of this game when you've done that for all the other Xeno games? And that is a great hypothetical question viewer I've made up in my mind. I don't like the gameplay of this game. So, to put it simply, the gameplay of this is taken from Xenoblade Chronicles 1 as a template. Now, if you play Xenoblade Chronicles 3, you are probably already in... Cons you have concern about that, because the one gameplay has not held up. In the at the time, it felt like you were playing World of Warcraft on your Wii, which was an insane idea to think of. Nowadays, it is slow and dated. However, Xenoblade Chronicles X was aware of this co complaint. They were aware that this was a thing in the original, and they sought to rectify it. How did they do that? Well, first off, they got rid of healing because everyone realized Charlotte was pointless to have in the party. And if you were good enough, you didn't need her. It's kind of the case in this game, but this game suffers from, I think, Xenoblade 2 syndrome worse than Xenoblade 2. What do I mean by that? I mean that this game doesn't explain its mechanics well. And unlike Xenoblade 2, where there was like a 20 minute direct that like explained the gameplay well enough to me that I could really understand it and come to grips with it, like, I love Xenoblade 2's gameplay. 
I I think it's the best in the series. It is my absolute peak. I think all the little nuances and builds you can do are great. I'm still a noob who likes doing double spinning edge before the Xenoblade 3 memes, even though I know it's been proven that, like, I think it's not backslash, but maybe it is backslash. It's just a better art to do cancellation with, but that double spinning edge. That double spinning edge. It transcends language. That is so... Ugh, it was beautiful back in 2, and it was even more glorious in 3. The point is... No one understood how Xenoblade 2's combat worked. And people kind of still don't to this day. I mean, people like me who have played the game, love the game, venerate, worship this game, understand how it works. But to the average player going in that doesn't really know that much about it, you, you kind of gonna get lost in the sauce, and that's just undeniable. The tutorials don't do a good job, and I feel like that was a complaint that wasn't really raised as much with X because, well, it was on the Wii U, so as many people weren't playing it, you got a donkey video bitching about two. You don't got a donkey video bitching about Xenoblade Chronicles X. Me in 10 minutes in the future, put in something to prove that I'm an idiot for saying this, unless I can find the facts that I'm right about this, but this game has two combat systems, and that's on foot, which is your... You're kind of doing that for a good chunk of the game, but for the most part, you're going to be in the scale. And I'll be honest, I don't have the slightest clue how scale combat works. I think it's just slower timers, I, I don't really understand. The way I beat this game, because I was so disinterested in its combat, because it's so breakable, it's so easy to break. The issue is that Elma's class, the Full Metal Jaguar, uh, she joins you from the start of the game, that's not a spoiler, she's literally the first person you see in the game. And so, even though I think it's Lynn narrating at the start, you see her, and she's already in your party. And so you get the broken class. I think by like level 13, that class, can literally solo the rest of the game. It would take forever because depending on your DPS, it would just take a while. But I remember I reached a point where it's like I unlocked a certain art. It's like, and some guy in my chat when I was streaming this was like, "Hey, you can you can be invincible." And I'm like, "Explain." And so like, there's a certain combo you can do with the Full Metal Jaguar class. And I literally went and soloed something that was like ten levels higher than me, at like level fifteen. And I was like, "What the fuck is this combat?" How is it this broken already? There is a gradual buildup to this. At least Fiona doesn't show up until like the final area of when Signifer buffs go crazy. At least Ashera isn't broken until like late game. Uh, two, I, I mean Mithra shows up pretty early in the game, but like not that early. Not as early as the prologue, where you can you're still just going through it, and I'm just like, man, why is why is Overlimit so broken? I don't think they're gonna change too much about it either, so... I think it's just gonna be a matter of coming to grips with the gameplay, and wanting to properly engage with it. Which may... they're not gonna fix it. They're not. I'm, I'm just gonna say it right now, they're not. They didn't change anything in one, really. I don't know why they would change it for this one. I don't know how they're porting it. After all the time they were saying, yeah, it's too difficult, they're, they're doing it, so I mean... Yeah. There's the other thing I need to go over, which is the story. The story for this game... Not good. At least the main story. The main story falls on its face, the ending, your mileage may vary. I didn't really enjoy it, I didn't care too much for it. However, we now know that there's gonna be a little bit more added to this story. Is it gonna redeem the whole narrative? No. No, it's not. It's not- it's- no. But, with this having some little extra thing at the end here, maybe there's an extra epilogue we'll get here. We don't really have any details on what we're getting in this game yet. So... Am I willing to give this game another shot to properly engage with it, to do the side content that everyone loves about this game, and go through the exploration as I should have? I think so. I think I'm willing to give this game in my favorite series the true experience it deserves. And if you're like me and you didn't enjoy this game, maybe if we just go in with that knowledge and just understand that there is a way to engage with this properly, We'll enjoy it more. That's kind of the mentality I want to have going into this. I don't want to be complete doom and gloom negativity. I know I didn't like it before, but I didn't really play it properly. So I think I owe it to this game for this series that I love and has done so much for me and saved me in so many different ways. It deserves me going into it with the respect it deserves. All right, I don't want to make this any longer than it needs to be. I'll leave that to fucking Luxon, who's going to make an hour out of this somehow. Even though there's literally nothing to break down except the ending of that trailer. So yeah, uh, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments, I just figured I'd make this quick reaction thing, because why not? 
so many people were messaging me about it because I was away. And yeah, uh, for Arknights people, hey, I was excited about Lappy Alter. I'm so excited for that. Let's go Laplin, best girl. I am ready for that event and I'm making more Arknights videos soon. I also got other ideas. I want to get to streaming tonight because like I said, I've been streaming Metaphor. At least I said that in my original. I don't think I said that in this one. Anyways, point is, I'm getting out of here. Peace.